Welcome back guys to another Steam Deck video and in this video we're talking about NVIDIA and GeForce Now Cloud Gaming and how NVIDIA wants to make cloud gaming and specifically their cloud gaming service GeForce Now easier and more compatible and just better overall on the Steam Deck. Anyways guys, I'm blaze 2 k thank you for joining me in this video. Um, if you want to see more Steam Deck content on your homepage every single day, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon most importantly so you're notified um, and check our list of curated steam deck accessories um with a link down below in the video description and the top comment of this video i curate the list myself give you all my favorite accessory recommendations and i'm always adding to it. so keep it bookmarked share it with friends anyways guys let's get into the video so nvidia and valve want to make geforce now better on the Steam Deck, but we don't have any announcements on native app coming to the Steam, Do Steam Deck says GFN Boss. So there's no official announcement that an official native application is coming to Steam for GeForce Now, but I think it's just a matter of time at this point, guys. Um, as we know, Xbox is already, Xbox already supports cloud streaming on the Steam Deck. Although it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to set up because you have to do, you do have to go into the the desktop mode on Steam OS, um, open up the Edge browser, play it through Edge or Chrome. It it's a little bit tedious, but I think with the amount of people buying a Steam Deck and the amount of people wanting to play cloud games on their Steam Deck, I think. I think it's a matter of time before we see native apps for the big streaming services like GeForce Now, like. Um, Xbox Cloud Gaming, um, PlayStation Now, all those cloud gaming services, I think we're going to start seeing them. Native applications come to the Steam Deck and it's going to be easier than ever to jump into it without having to jump through a couple of hoops to get into the cloud stream and stuff. And most importantly, I think it means it's going to be the final nail in the coffin for these little things. <laughs> the Razer Edge Ultimate Gaming Android Gaming Handheld and the, the Logitech G Cloud, which costs just about the same, if not more, than the freaking Steam Deck. These things, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to push cloud gaming, but they're charging like $300, $400 for a device that's basically a watered-down, weak smartphone with a game controller wrapped around it, all right? And their main claim to fame is that they could play cloud games, all right? For $399, you can get yourself a Steam Deck. For a Steam Deck, play games locally on the device, with or without internet. Have a desktop computer in your hands that can run Windows if you wanted to. It can run the desk, full desktop Linux. It could do so many things for roughly the same price, right? And once these streaming for once these um, game streaming services allow us to download their their apps natively on the Steam Deck, it's going to be a game changer, I think. And I think it's basically going to be, like I said, the the final nail in the coffin for these little expensive cloud gaming handhelds that Razer and Logitech and Tencent are all pushing out. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Anyways, Nvidia and Valve have both expressed interest in improving the GeForce Now experience for the Steam Deck. The game streaming service already operates on Valve's... Oh, 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 we're, we're having issues here. Escape. Hold on. All right, apologies for that. For some reason, my mouse was like zooming into the page instead of scrolling. Anyways, <laughs> um, so again, Nvidia and Valve are both have both expressed interest in improving the GeForce Now experience on the Steam Deck. The game streaming service already operates on Valve's handheld console. However, it requires users to boot up a browser, and the controls can be pretty funky as a result. A native Steam app could be the answer to making the streaming experience a whole lot easier on the device. And like I says, I hope this applies to basically all the streaming services out there, right? Hopefully everyone makes a native app for the Steam Deck. Um, NVIDIA's GeForce Now product manager, Andrew Fear, has confirmed that both NVIDIA and Steam were interested in streamlining, streamlining the GeForce Now experience on the Steam Deck. There is not a native app on the Steam Deck today, says Fear. Use a Chromium browser to make it work. I would say that both NVIDIA and Valve, I think we're both interested in making GeForce Now on Steam Deck a little bit better, but we don't have any announcements on the native app coming to Steam. So I think whether it comes in the form of a native app or whether it's like a quick access toggle, that's like built into the UI of the Steam Deck. I think something's coming either way. Other streaming first handhelds such as Razer's Edge and Logitech's G Cloud already have native apps by the way of Nvidia's GeForce Now Android app. The Steam Deck as a Linux machine, unfortunately, doesn't. So that's kind of why these, these things have a little bit more of an advantage in terms of 
cloud gaming immediately because they're running Android from the get-go, right? They're basically just smartphones with their own custom UI on top of it. Um, so the reason why these have, like I said, cloud gaming baked in and native apps is because they're essentially smartphones and smartphones had the, the streaming app already anyway. So for the Steam Deck though, it runs on Linux. It runs on like a full desktop OS. So they would have to create a native app for that. And that would take a little bit of time and money, I think investment. But I think if enough people are interested, they will. And I think enough people are kind of, I mean, I've, I've already told you guys how I feel about cloud gaming, not a big fan, but those, there are people that are, right? Um, so the Steam Deck GeForce Now experience has improved since we first tried it out on the console, but it's far from a sleek option. GeForce Now works in browser while the Steam Deck's tiny screen doesn't necessarily make for easy navigation of. The control scheme too can be awkward given the Steam Deck's controls can perform differently in a browser environment. And if you're wondering why you might want to stream your stream onto your Steam Deck, it's mainly a consideration for saving battery or accessing unavailable and demanding games. Streaming massively reduces the workload on the Steam Deck's hardware, allowing for the device to run for much longer. So Similarly, there's no chance of playing The Witcher in full ray trace glory on the Steam Deck without beaming it from the cloud. Fear also su suggested that Nvidia was keen to support racing wheels on its streaming service, but again, has nothing specific to say on that front right now. Racing games on the Steam Deck? I mean, racing, racing games on the cloud? Oh, I don't know. They're so like reflex intensive like you have to really have good reflexes and have good low like low input latency low lag and that's something cloud gaming isn't very good at right now nvidia just announced a major uplift for the top tier of its geforce now service the new ultimate tier will offer players at rtx 4080 damn in the cloud for 20 bucks a month um this will bring it bring with it a new 240 hertz competitive gaming mode ultra wide support and 4k at 120 hertz damn dude so Okay, I didn't. I, I, I've basically not been interested in cloud gaming for the longest time, and I've not been staying up to date on cloud gaming. But apparently, GeForce now are offering people RTX 4080s with game streaming as high as 240 hertz, 240 hertz, ultra wide support, and 4K at 120. <laughs> that is that is nuts. I'm all right. We're gonna have to try. We're going to have to try GeForce Now Gaming, I think. Um, so there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. Are you wanting a native app, a native game streaming app? Is game streaming something you're interested in on the Steam Deck? Um, whether it be for battery life or just to play games that maybe you can't play on SteamOS itself. Because there are quite a few games, as you well know, that don't support SteamOS right now. And um, cloud gaming is the way you could do it. Alternatively, you could obviously dual boot with Windows and SteamOS, which is what I do, and I'm really happy I did because it's really seamless. I also upgraded my Steam Deck to a two to three terabytes. If you want to go see the video, go check that out. It's in my it's on my channel. Three terabyte Steam Deck. I don't really have to worry about storage anymore, which is awesome. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please click the like. If you want to see more Steam Deck content on your YouTube homepage every single day, because we post multiple times a day, please click subscribe and the bell icon. And um, go check our list, our curated, always updated list of Steam Deck accessories in the video description down below and the top comment of this video. And come follow me on Twitter. All right, come say hi. Anyways, guys, have a good, have a good Thursday. Is it Thursday today? It is. Have a good Thursday. Take care. Bye.